What's going on everyone, Stitch Kraken here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Division 2 Invasion Event Crate that's currently going on right now on Division 2, and of course, I just want to bring a lovely heads up that this is the first time I'm actually doing any sort of video like this, but uh, it really caught my interest, so I'm going to try to be as simplistic and informative as humanly possible, but otherwise, let's get right into it. So this is the first ever Event Crate that has been seen as of right now on division two which is rather interesting because i just so happened to stumble across this once i was trying to change you know a t-shirt and some shorts that i ended up getting whilst i was playing the game and it really did caught my interest so what i really do like about this crate is that for one you're able to see the contents within the crate and you're able to see what exactly you are getting within it so there are a total of 30 items and three sets within this crate if anything it would count as four sets because of what I'm about to say next, which is, of course, there is a completion reward of if you're able to get every single item within the invasion crate, you would be able to unlock the fourth set in the crate, which is the Black Tusk uniform. Now, this is the first ever crate that I've seen compared to the basic and superior crates that you can see on Division 2, which you can get key fragments for for playing or just buying in general. You would be able to get duplicates for those two specific type of crates. But this one is completely different. Any and all event crates have no duplicates on them, and you're able to actually get keys by doing in-game activities. Now, it hasn't been really too specific on what activities you need to to do in order to get keys but i'm assuming the majority of any sort of activities there will be a chance to either get key fragments or keys themselves as a drop i have not been able to see anything related towards that but it is what it says right on screen right here as i've mentioned before there is a total of four different sets and we're going to be talking about all the different sets so what we currently can see right now on screen is that we have a total of three sets which is from the main three factions of the game at the moment which is the outcast workwear the true sons patrol and the hyena streetwear which is all really really nicely designed sets based off of the three main enemy factions within the game now as i've mentioned i will be showing as well to the fourth set that you can get which is the completion reward set which is the black tusk uniform and it's also really nice as well too because you do get a bonus which is a black tusk heavy visor now i did not really know that you could also get this visor as well too but it is a part of the completion uh rewards and doesn't really show that too much um in the main screen when you're going to get the apparel caches but rather it shows you it on the invasion collection screen i i don't know it's it's really weird i did not really specifically see that if not i must be blind but these are all the sets that you can currently get right now within the evasion crate so let's talk a little bit more about them the first set that we're looking at is the outcast workwear set at the moment which is a very very nice mix between both division agent style and a little bit more of the usual outcast kind of weird yellowish tarp outfits that they have all the time but as we can see we're going to start from the bottom with the boots which is a nice sort of taped up type style of boots these are kind of nice i do like them because they kind of bring like a more distressed style as well too moving up to the pants we have some basic kind of stonewashed uh styled pants here with a little bit of you know a hammer as well too there and then we go up to the top where we have this kind of yellow tarp with a mix of a kind of plaid shirt going on right now which is really nice and then finally we got the outcast logo dad cap or baseball cap whatever you want to call it it is really nice as well as the uh scarf that you can get which is nice and black and the lovely shades which is the point dexter shades you gotta love it as well because it has a little yellow tape in between it's a very nice set and very very detailed Moving on, we're going to be looking at the True Sons Patrol set that is currently going on. Now, obviously, the True Sons are more of like a military styled sort of faction. So you're going to have a lot of the usual military boots, camo styles for everything, as you can see on screen right now. Basically, the usual if you are really into that faction. And then we're going to get more and more into detail of the upper part of the body with a lovely blue and red sort of ripped off styled shirt. I don't 
don't know what is up with like Ubisoft or specifically what is up with the people at Division and just having the, you know, the cut off shirts. You know, they, they really like the idea of just showing off, you know, muscular, the muscular characters within this game. But as well, too, you also do get a scarf and you get a lovely military cap as well, too for it to top everything off, which is very nice. Now, moving over to the Hyena Streetwear set. This is actually one of my favorite sets of all time within this crate right now, uh, which is lovely because you get a sort of, you know, kind of like a lazy sort of boot, you know, super emo-ish styled boots there with the little flap that's open. Moving up, you get some basic black pants, nothing super specific with the knee pad with a little bit of the Hyena signature green paint splatter on it and then you're gonna get yes you guessed it another tank top sort of tee you know i know you're not able to see it all the way through when it comes to the the tank top here but that is totally fine because i have armor on and then we finally have the riot shield helmet which is one of my favorite pieces within the uh set and it's just a lovely headpiece to add on to the wardrobe to kind of customize and make you feel more of like a suitified badass agent you know when you get on the field and for the final set in the evasion crate, we are currently looking at the Black Tusk uniform set at the moment, which is obviously lovely. It's super sleek, super nice and kind of styled futuristically uh, as well known as having that super black covert feel that the Black Tusk is always well known for. It just re looks really nice and it looks very, 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 very sleek if you're into the, the black on black on black, you know, straight nice black on black leather uh sets that are there so let's talk a little bit more about the items and the different tiers that you're obviously able to get within the crate as well you do have your basic superior and high-end tiers there is a lot of different sort of other items that you can get which is obviously you can get some emotes and some camos there really isn't much too too much to talk about in terms of camos the majority of them are very much your your basic standard tribal or digital camos uh the other one that i've seen that was really interesting and it's the high end tier one is the I think it's called the uh, spectral the spectral camel which you can actually get as well too that one's really nice because I'm a huge fan of purple kind of reminds me of like a, a, a lovely graffiti s styled galaxy sort of camel very nice very interesting another other piece of equipment that you can get within the items for this on the high tier end is you can get a black tusk commander mask now this is actually the first mask that i've ever seen within a crate actually there's two of them you're able to get the black tusk commander uh mask and as well as the black tusk visor mask which is really nice as well and it doesn't really show that you actually get that um visor mask until you go over to the collections and it's a rather super i guess to say super secret sort of secondary mask you're able to unlock once you have completed and unlocked all the items within the invasion crate but it's really interesting because i did not expect that there would be a mask within this one but it is really nice i love it i currently use it with the riot shield the hyena riot shield helmet and it makes me look super super kind of geared out and almost like the kind of elites if you like to say so I think I pretty much covered every little tidbit a part of the invasion event crate right now. Um, if there has been anything that I missed or anything that I didn't cover, feel free to yell at me in the comment section down below. If you guys really did enjoy this type of video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, this is the first time that I'm, you know, actually trying to do a little bit more into division videos. I love the idea of like getting to cosmetics and stuff like that, because I always feel that, you know, it's really cool to kind of differentiate yourself between other people when you're playing a game. and. I want to give a little bit more information on that when possible. If not, I might do some other stuff, you know, like maybe some regular gameplay stuff here and there. But if you really did enjoy it and you felt it was very informative and very entertaining to you as well, like I said, leave a thumbs up, share it, tell your friends, definitely check out this crate. It's really awesome. You have a chance to kind of rep your own favorite uh, faction within division two right now with these lovely lovely sets and yeah hopefully that's all and thank you guys so much take care division agents and i will see you on the battlefield peace